यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एफ सिक्स थीसी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन पावर बी आई यूज केस वर्किंग अक्रॉस टू टेबल्स विदाउट यूजिंग अ मर्च आई केम अक्रॉस अ प्रॉब्लम इन द कम्युनिटी एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज लाइक दिस आई हैव दिस डेट रेंजेस इन द टेबल वेयर यू नो आई हैव अ डेट रेंज विच इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अ डेट एंड एंडिंग ऑन अ डेट एंड द डेट रेंज माइट नॉट एंड मीन्स इट इज स्टिल एक्टिव टिल टूडे सो इट मे कंटिन्यू फॉर सर्टन ड्यूरेशन ना वट आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट इन दैट केस इज दैट देर आर अदर सेट ऑफ डेट्स and where these dates uh, how many times these dates appear in this date range so let's say first january and all how many date ranges is appear so maybe the first january is appearing here here uh, at least at the two places the first january might be appearing so we need to see for how many places in the other table these things are appearing and the solution need to be in power query so let's jump onto the power query go to the home tab transform data transform data and we reach power query now i need a new column in this date table to check out how many time this particular date a given date exist in the ranges now this is not a case where i can simply use merge and can do it uh, so what i decided that i'm going to create a new column here and going to do these operations there but it is going to be little bit different and uh, one more advice that these kind of operations could be really costly because we are going to access the complete table so my advice would be only use these for learning purpose don't use it for the bigger table or the larger table because it might really slow down with the larger set of data because we are going to access the other table so now let's start let's start looking into the solution so we will create a custom column so i click on the custom column now challenge here is basically when i want to uh, you know do some operation on the other table uh, let's say i basically the operation which i am going to do on the other table is table dot select rows where i can filter the other table and to do that i need the date from this table now when we do the two uh, table across it power bi will not be able to identify that this column belongs to this table or this column belongs to that table power query is not going to do it so what we are going to do is very similar code which we used to do in the advanced editor so we will start doing that code and i'll explain you why it is needed so let's start let me press enter and let me write down let now after the let i am going to create a variable uh, which is basically let me call at my call underscore call is my nothing but my dates now the next thing which i need to do is i need to create a table which is filtered table which is going to come from table dot select rows now how i want to select the uh, rows from the other table so the table which i want to do the select rows is ranges in the ranges what i want to do my this date should be greater now i can't simply use dates here that's why i put it into a variable i'm taking this rows value as a constant so that i can now use it so i'm putting it into a variable so that i can use it because this table dot select row might not allow me to use the dates from the table which is dates table so that's why i took it into a variable and one more thing which you have to do is comma because every row should add with a comma so now ranges now what is our condition so we say whenever we do, do such kind of condition each then we have date one there date one we have to remember the column name let me show you the column names here date one and date two so date one is greater than or equal to underscore call and now challenge for the other second date date two might be null so we have to handle that first so i start a parenthesis and in that one i am going to write down code if date two and i need to be exact on the name it's not suggesting me date two is equal to null all small null then i need a date which is date time dot and time is t is capital date time dot fixed local now okay i take a fixed local now and this gives me date with time i don't need time so so this should be date time dot fixed local now 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 i'm going to do date time dot date so i'm going to take out date time dot date and then i got this date 
so this you might have seen when we go, want to get today's date this is how what we do so date time dot date date dot date time dot fixed local now is going to give us today's date and there are uh, additional dates which are available which are ending we are not bothered about that so we are saying okay if date is not available we are going to consider today's date else if it is null then this otherwise it's date two only okay now it should be less so the date date one should actually the condition was date one should be less than equal to my date so date one should be less than equal to and date two should be greater than and equal to the so condition i corrected it here underscore call so that's my condition and then i should add and here and i should put another comma here now what i need i need to count these rows so another table operation is required so i need to count the rows now so underscore count is equal to table dot count row count and in the row count what i need now this could be a little bit problematic when you do it in power query simply pressing enter i need a table and that table is nothing but underscore table now i don't need next one so i need to write down what we write down to return in and in in at what we want to return underscore count okay let's see so let dates let's see why it is giving error here hmm and this is a and d and now the code is correct so what we are saying column dates the table dot select row ranges the select the table ranges where each date one is less than my date so whatever date i have in this row it should be less than the date one should be less than and date two handled with the blank value or the null value of which today's date should be greater than my date that is my condition with my current date in the row and then in such scenario you will get a table and you should need to count that but before i give this formula let me do one thing instead of count let me return table to you to let's let's see what what happens actually what we get so let me do this okay we have done a mistake see this is what happens if we type and enter simply it could happen like this so and see again date time dot date again is giving problem so let's see date time dot date date time fixed local time okay seems everything is correct now you click on the empty space and look at the table see in these two dates it is lying this one is lying in these two dates let's look at something in july see this july one it is lying between this july to december january to null and july to null also now look at something which is after december it's going to be here only because see we are taking today's date we are ending every null on the today's date so they will come only till november not after that okay so that is how we are building it in so now we know this is the table we are getting so see for every row you scanning the complete table and getting the set of column now think about if the columns have the width or the rows uh, are too many then how big that operation is and that's why i said okay uh, it's good to have this operation but it could be really costly so now we go ahead and replace this with count and say go here so now first row is two second is two third is two till june we'll get through now in july we are getting three so let's go back and look at this so if i'm a july can i come here no can i come here yes can i come here yes can i come here yes three okay that's correct so this is how you got it now so you got a new column now this is in power query we have not used dex you can do the similar thing in dex also but this is we have done in power query created a new column without using merge just using the table and the column operations uh, which are available in power query so go ahead and try that out do let me know how do you like this video thanks for watching video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you